Hello everyone. If someone was asked to name 10 greatest mathematicians of ancient time, then Euclid's name would be taken for sure. Euclid is known for his treatise Elements and that treatise earned him the title The Father of Geometry. As we already know, Euclid wrote down many assumptions which are actually obvious universal truth. Few assumptions here were only for geometry which he called postulates. For example, a straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point. And few assumptions could be used throughout mathematics which are called axioms. For example, one axiom is things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. Like here, area of this rectangle is equal to area of square. Also, area of the given triangle is equal to the area of given square. This implies area of the given rectangle is equal to the area of given triangle. Another example, say x dollars mean y rupees and y rupees is equal to z yen. Then we can say x dollars are equal to z yens means if x is equal to y and y equal to z then x is equal to z that is Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. And this is what axiom 1 says. We use this assumption in algebra and even in day to day life very often. So Euclid's assumptions were obvious universal truth which can be proven with simple observations and logic. His axioms are heavily used in mathematics like this one. If equals are added to equals, the holes are equal. Say the two bowls have the same amount of rice A and B. So A is equal to B. Now we add 10 grams of rice to each that is we added equal values to both. So, A plus 10 is equal to B plus 10. That is, still both have the same amount of rice. We use this axiom in algebra, arithmetic all the time. Euclid also said, if equals are subtracted from equals, then the remainders are equal. Now, these two bowls have the same amount of rice and if we take away 20 gram of rice from each of the bowl then still both would contain the same amount of rice that is equal was subtracted from equals and they remain equal we don't need to prove this it's the basic truth so now you know three axioms given by Euclid. The rest we shall understand in the next class. Until then, bye-bye.